how to add bleed in Adobe InDesign and save for print. So let's create a new document, go to file new, and we're gonna create a business card size document. So the width is 85 by 55 millimeters, and that's landscape. Let's turn off facing pages. I'm just gonna have a single page. Okay, so we've got margins. I'm gonna use five mil margins all the way around and bleed. I'm gonna use the industry standard which is three millimeters all the way around. Once you've got that, click create. The bleed area you can see is this bit here between the document edge and this red line. So when you send it off to the printers, they will chop off anything that's between this white bit of the document and this red line. The reason why we use bleed is in case that we have color or an image that goes off the edge of the side of the document so we can send it off and they will crop that area off at the printers. To save our document we're going to go to file then export and we're going to select PDF print from our drop down menu. I'm going to select save and from this standard drop down menu make sure it's the PDF X-1A 2001 standard and then in marks and bleed we need to turn on crop marks and we need to turn on the use document bleed settings press export and this is what your document will look like when exported you've got your crop marks in the corners of the document and this area here is what will be chopped off by the printers. That's how to add bleed in Adobe InDesign and export for print. Thank you for watching this video. Please check out some of my videos that are on screen now and consider subscribing to the channel.